my reaction to qualifying for the 2024 Dutch Grand Prix. Alright, it's been a while since I've done this, well, summer break, back from the summer break, sorry that I didn't make any, um, prediction video, like, as I said, I was sick, and I just came back and didn't have enough time, I could have made it on Friday, but, but anyways, let's get into Q1, shall we? Where we had Sergeant Joe Bottas, Alcon, and Ricardo out. Sergeant, of course, crashing at FP3, so wasn't able to get out. <coughs> um, still a little sick, by the way. Still got, like, the cough a little bit. So be with me. Both Sauber, though, nothing really... Nothing to be expected there. Like, they just keep bringing upgrades, and they're just still always the slowest. And, like, this quality, like, I didn't even see them at all, really. Like, you didn't even realize that they were out. You're just like, oh. Alcon, I'm surprised Alcon was out. I'm surprised Alcon had a lack of pace. And yeah, also Ricardo. He's not sure what happened to him. I was watching the quality session, but not sure what happened to him. And I feel so bad because I'm going to another motorsport event. And I won't even get to watch Grand Prix. Seeing how qualifying turned out, I kind of want to watch this Grand Prix. Let's go to Q2 now. We had Magnus and Hulkenberg. No, Hamilton signs out. So, Magnus has not thought they would have more pace, but they kind of maxed out where they are. It's not alright, but then Hamilton signs. I did not expect him to be here. Well, that's kind of a lie. Hamilton just didn't put it up at the last lap. He definitely had pace to be through. Science, on the other hand, it's not that big of a surprise because his whole his whole session was just like it's kind of scruffy and like I didn't even think he was even going to get out of Q one at one point. So I never predicted him to even make it to Q three because he just didn't look too good at all. So yeah, we're going to see where these guys are going to come in from in the race. They're going to have a tough race ahead of them. Hamilton has never really been good at, at Zandvoort recently. But yeah, that's just it. Uh, maybe it's better to Holcomber to do a bit better, but after that crash that he had, surprised to see him in here. Alright, Q3 now. P10, we have Pierre Gasly slipped through somehow. And yeah, m miles ahead of Alcon. Have Stroll in ninth. This might sound weird for me, but Stroll in ninth is a surprise. He was, he was actually doing very well throughout the session. He was putting in a lot of quick times. Last like, time he was gonna be like, potentially at P five on the grid. Then we have Albon P eight. Good performance for Albon. Best quality of the season, I think. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Gonna be in line to score some points tomorrow, fighting with the Aston's and the Alpine. Alonso is gonna be if seventh. Good performance from him. Max the car, he said, which is true. Leclerc P6 did all he could in that Ferrari. Perez P5. Nice to see Perez, you know, popping back up in the top five again. I think it, for once we actually can't hate Perez. He actually did a good job. Where the where he's supposed to be. Russell P4 did good in that Mercedes that doesn't look as good, so. Then Piastri P3. Could he have gotten pole? Don't think so. But he could have gotten P2, but he just lost it in the start. And Verstappen P2. And, and it was Lando Norris who took pole in his McLaren. Yeah. I expected Lando to take pole or be fighting for pole. But yeah, I just. Makes it interesting for tomorrow. Just sucks that I won't get to watch the race. Can I say my motorsport event starts at like 10? So at 9, I might be leaving. I just, I just want to see like the first corner, to be honest. And then I... But I don't know if it's going to rain or not. I didn't check the forecast for, for that weekend. But yeah, um, North is right there. Verstappen's right there. I think... <laughs> even... <laughs> 
Even uh, Julian Palmer said it. <laughs> it's with an insult, but it's true. This is the shortest run to turn one, so. Doesn't have to worry about, you know, butching the start. But I think Orlando has a good chance to win this, but if Max, then he's going to be even more fired up for his home race, so. I think it's still a big chance that. But we're going to see what happens. Overtaking isn't too good around here. But we're just going to have to see what happens. It's going to be crazy. I'm just going to come home and, and see a result. And like with this season, like last, last year I could afford to miss races. Because, you know, Max probably would just still win. But now in a season like this, it's going to hurt so much just to miss one race. The only race that I missed was the Monaco Grand Prix. I could afford to miss that one. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm back now. Fully thing. Also, you guys are asking about, like, other stuff, which I'll talk about probably in... Yeah, you guys should have another video today, so... Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.